Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to farm a bunch of useful stuff in Destiny 2 Forsaken. Not long after Forsaken's release, I made a video showing how to farm mods, legendaries, and baron specific loot via the Hollowed Lair Strike and the 2 Forsaken Daily Heroics. Unfortunately, that was patched for some odd reason, even though the economy is completely screwed up right now. But it wouldn't be Destiny if there wasn't a brand new way to farm something each week. And recently, a friend had told me he was able to get Tangled Shore weapons from running a few of the lost sections on earth so I went ahead and checked it out myself now yes you can get tangled shore weapons and armor from doing spiders bounties the annoying thing about those is they have you travel all over the system and then back to the tangled shore to do more public events because for some reason you can only hold 10 fragments at once and then after picking up more bounties you have to go back on the hunt and then back to spider and you can only pick up like one or two once you start getting to those bounties that cost like four fragments each it's really stupid if you weren't able to get a good roll or a specific weapon weapon or armor piece from doing these wanted bounties or you're just not even going to bother with them, you can farm weapons and armor from the Tangled Shore from Lost Sectors. Only the Lost Sectors that have wanted enemies in them. The very first place I went to test this out was the Lost Sector Widow's Walk on the left side of the church in Trossland. Reason for this was I knew there was a wanted enemy in here and I knew the Lost Sector was very short. So I started farming and it wasn't long before I got my first Thin Line. Thin Line being the Tangled Shore hand cannon. As soon as I used my fire team medallion, I got two more almost immediately. I know that could have just been me getting super lucky, but while farming it, it definitely felt like using a fire team medallion boosted the loot I got from the wanted enemies. So as you'll see in the footage, the Tangled Shore weapons actually drop directly from the boss as legendary engrams. You can farm wanted enemies over and over for a chance at god rolls, really. Now the cool thing about this is it's not only good for god roll farming, but weapons can actually drop with mods. If you're hitting the lost sector chest on every run as well, you'll be accumulating so much random garbage loot that when you dismantle it all you'll be getting tons of gunsmith parts and a chance to get mod components to drop from rare armor. Now you guys probably have a lot of questions regarding which lost sectors give you what specific item. Will they change next week? You know stuff like that. And I know a few farms that drop specific items but there are just so many lost sectors in the game with wanted enemies in them that I couldn't possibly test them all in such a short amount of time. So I can tell you every single wanted enemies loot that I know but I will not be able to provide you with with every single one. The good thing is you can chase armor on top of weapons as well so if you're trying to fill out your forsaken badge by collecting scatterhorn armor you can farm those as well. So the lost sectors that I know that drop specific items are Widow's Walk which is the one on the left of the church in Trossland. This drops the Thin Line Tangled Shore Hand Cannon. If you're farming for the Dust Rock Blues Shotgun, you'll need to go to Pathfinder's Crash near Firebase Hades in the EDZ. If you're farming for the Either Doctor, which is the Tangled Shore Auto Rifle, you'll need to head to Sky Dock 4 in the Sunken Isles. If you're chasing the Scatterhorn Chest Piece, I found this to drop in multiple lost sectors, one being Excavation Site 12 via Firebase Hades and Cargo Bay 3 in the Rig on Titan. From what it seems like, like multiple lost sectors can actually share the same piece of loot so there may be others out there that drop the same weapons and armor as the ones I've listed above it also seems like most wanted enemies drop random legendary gear as well as tangled shore items so if you do get legendary armor most of it dismantles into masterwork cores which is a pretty nice bonus since I couldn't possibly farm every lost sector what I'll need you guys to do is to help me out by finding which ones drop which items so that we can compile a complete list of where to obtain each item I will explore more myself and try to add to the list in the description, but I could really use your help to discover the source of the rest of the armor and weapons. I actually have a link to different maps for each of the locations that show exactly where the wanted enemies and what lost sectors are, so I'll link those maps in the description for you guys to take a look at to make your search easier. I have no idea if this is going to change when reset hits, but I highly doubt the loot pool will switch. If it does, I'll update the video, but I just don't see that happening. My suggestion for farming this is while you can do it alone, if you have a few friends will to help you out, pop a fire team medallion and just spend a few hours trying to get a good roll. The more people you have with you clearing out the lost sector will make it go a lot faster of course. I did these farms completely solo last night. You can just put on some music or a video and just chill out and farm. Now remember that it's entirely up to RNG whether or not you get this loot. You could get five weapons in the first 10 minutes or two in the first hour. What I will say is that they do have a pretty high drop rate especially after using a fire team medallion. And I was always able to get one piece of armor or weapon drop within the first 10 
few minutes. I don't really see this getting patched, but I do think Bungie will eventually make it easier to do the spider bounties, so eventually we may not even need to use these farms. Or at least, that's my hope anyway. That pretty much does it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Again, check the description and my pinned comment for the current in-progress list of where to find each piece of armor and loot. But other than that, thank you very much for watching, guys.